Hi everybody. Tonight we make shrimp parmesan. But before I say something over here, all the time we gotta do live on the computer, we have a problem all the time. It was 10 seconds the start, and the computer fell. I'm really sorry for everybody to wait like this. I hope next time it will be like this. This is the second time. I'm really sorry. Now, thank you very much, everybody, to look on my recipe, what I make. And like I said tonight, I make the shrimp parmesan. I got the shrimp over here. It's a nice big shrimp I got. And I prepared already before you cut it like this. I left the tail like this. When you pick it up, you can eat it better. Now I want to show a guy, I got four shrimp to show what I did for the cleanup. And this, you clean up like that, like this, and at the end over here, you leave the little tail and the shrimp. Now, so you know what it is, what you do, you take it out. After you take it out, you got a nice and knife, and you cut it. Right in the back over here, like this, and you open up. But make sure after you gotta wash this. Now I'll leave this over here, okay, after I gotta wash, I left the full shrimp over here. And the clean that's is the shrimp, the clean. Now this, I'll leave the little tail over here, like this. And you do the same way, you cut up. Like this. Okay, after you gotta wash, you see you got a little vein with it black. This you gotta come out when you wash. Okay, I got two more to go. Like that. You cut it. Okay, one more. It will be done. Up the shrimp. This is a nice size. It's so the this is it's a 16 the 18 shrimp for pound. Okay. Now I give a little wash on this. I gotta be ready to start the fry. Now let me wash this. Take not too long to wash. One. Two, three, and four. Now, like I say, I'm a really, really upset too. But this is what happened. That you know, a lot of people look and wait. And I'm more upset than everybody. But this, I don't like when somebody got to wait. I'm a son. I'm like this. I want to do everything right on time, everything. But I put one eggs. I put a little black pepper. I use salt. And flour first like that just like this now I start with the pots and I want to put the oil this is that kind of fry. And this will be here like that. Okay. 
We'll make sure show gets a nice, the oil got be nice hot. Like this, it come more nice. Now, we do the shrimp and the eggs. The bread. Look, a nice look at this. Okay? Each one you gotta do the same way. Eggs and bread. Tu fa l'americana, americana, americana. Now we check the oil is it's hot. No yet, you can stay a little bit more, the big nice hot the oil. Got one deep fry, you gotta fry fast at this. Nice. 
make sure there's no part of the string. You got a big gold, gold, gold color, like my ring. My, what, my ring is white. It is a gold ring. Oh, look how beautiful you look at this string. This is not too special for me. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, Alla salute. And again, I'm sorry what happened. But, chin chin de di pare. Salute. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, it's good. Salud. Really good. Now this shrimp is ready. So what I do, I take it out. I take this shrimp out over here. And I put it right over here. I got a mother too. Look how nice it come out with this shrimp. Really, really nice. Okay. Now, I gotta do the rest. I got like maybe three, I got six more shrimp to go. Okay, now I wanna do something. more break okay good I got a nice fork over here little salt and my black pepper
Now this you gotta fry a little bit. And here we'll be ready to prepare with the sauce. Now this, it's my omega sauce. Everybody know that my tomato sauce I make every year. The tomato sauce. I make a lot of jala, 90, 100, I, I mean I make, I make a lot of tomato sauce. This I cook a little bit. After I use it for the shrimp, so a little bit. Now, say anybody, if somebody like the the buy the shirt, it's all right over here. Look, it looks so. I, I'm gonna look good. Yeah, look, I'm look. I'm gonna look old man, but I'm gonna look good. Okay, yeah, I got it. The apron over here, third. Look how nice. A really beautiful. Alright? Everybody can get one. You got a lot, lot on the stock. Thank you very much. It looks so good. <laughs> Let me do it. Alright. All right. Look at this. Okay? You see, you can you can use over here. You got a nice pack over here, both sides. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, now, the shrimp we will really cook a little bit more. You gotta be nice color. Now, this is the sauce. What I do with the sauce, I put a sauce on the bottom over here. Not too much, and you do the same way like I do like this, you see? And just like that. After what you do, you take the shrimp. And you put it like this. Okay, look at that. Looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. I got I gotta see some more to go. And we put it on you over there. In Italy, say salute. Friends, say la santé. La santé. In English, tinche. Ah, saluta me. Ah, really good. The wine is dry, dry wine. I love. Okay, and the sun is ready to go. Oh, look at this, so nice. Let's drink over here. It's easy to do, you know. 
lot of people, he gave to me a lot of good comment. Everybody said, Pasquale, you do so good. Why you not go on the TV, get your own show? Yeah, you gotta be a big shot. I'm a no big shot. I'm a low, I'm a low. Uh, people, you know, you don't look for the low people. You look everybody, you gotta be big people. Okay, now you put a little sauce on the top, just like that. Now, I was to make little extra sauce. Now, what I, I want to cook little pasta. I got a nice fettuccine to cook at. And with the sauce left, that, you know, on the shrimp, you put the pasta and you put a little shrimp by the side. It look really good, a good pasta. Now, I got a nice, fresh mozzarella over here, okay? And I gotta put a piece mozzarella on the top. Now what I do, everybody, you know, when you cook, you gotta taste it first. You taste. So the mozzarella is good. Everything you gotta taste, it's good. Then we use it. Think when you make no be cheap, you gotta put a little extra mozzarella. Okay, you be cheap for what? You can eat it yourself. You go to the restaurant, yeah, it be cheap. You use a cheap mozzarella. But me, it's for my house, I use a good mozzarella. You see, this is a nice dinner, girlfriend, husband, and wife. Nice dip, nice, nice glass of wine. You like this? Nice candle. You eat a nice table, and you make a nice dinner with the shrimp and parmesan. Good. Okay. Look at this. A nice look. This shrimp. Maybe, you see, this way they messed up for me. This way that I'm supposed to do the garden, the plant of the tomato, it rain and now every single day. Okay? But you gotta come out. I wanna plant it tomorrow, but tomorrow you gotta rain it again. But I hope Sunday, maybe I'll do it on Sunday. Okay. This look really good. Now, this you gotta go to the oven, not for long. This is 10 minutes, it be ready. Now, I gotta put it in the oven, at the same time I put this in the oven, I put in my pasta, and I got the water already boiling for me, and I put in the pasta before this. Got the pasta, he, he got to have uh, this 12 for the 13 minutes. I like this kind of the pasta. It's a fettuccine. It's a nice, it's what I like, like this. All right, and now let me ask this, my family over here, who wants the pasta? Okay, maybe, I don't know. Hey, do you want the pasta? Yeah, Diane? No, Jeremy? Yeah. Okay, three people. Got a girlfriend of my son, 
no, no fish. She's allergic to fish. But she was eating something else. Okay, now, the measure of the past, I do like this. This is for me. This is for my wife. And my son, he got a little big, big more mouth to me than everybody, and I nearly laughed. Okay. We cook three quarter pound. This is one pound. We cook three quarter pound. Okay? Now make sure the water boil, like I say, and the poor salt. Alright. Salt. And the pasta. Now the pasta, like I say, gotta cook. I put it for lemon. Yeah, I like the pasta to be al dente. Okay. Now, the pasta is in the oven and uh, the stove over here in the water. I wait a little bit. Now this, the fish, you know, got to stay too long. Like I said, maybe eight to nine minutes. Yeah, I want to leave a cook of the pasta maybe the three, four minutes before I put this. I don't want the shrimp to cook too much. All right, while we wait, there's a question. Yeah. Um, chef, have you ever served this with polenta? Polenta? Yes. With the polenta, it's really good. You make it like, a, you, do, you chop the plum tomato. You do with the plum tomato. You cook plum tomato and you make it a sauce with the shrimp. It's really good. You see, I love polenta. In Italy, I was going to Torino, and anybody say, hey, when I was going to my city, he was to say, hey, you eat a lot of polenta. Yeah, I eat a lot of polenta, but in my city, in Italy, on my small place, we eat polenta every day, with the beans, everything. Polenta, it's for me, it's a number one, really. I, I prefer polenta with a coniglio or a rabbits, fagiano, fasan, quaglie, birds, everything. I love polenta. All right, and there's one more. Hi, Chef Pasquale. Do you do all the cooking or does your wife cook as well? What are her specialties? Well, my wife, she cook really good too. But, you know, I don't want to knock it down my wife because she cook really good. She's a, she's a Polish. She cook good, a lot of times we, we are hard to work together. You see, but I was a cook in Italy, you know, for so many years, 15, 16 years, I was a cook in Italy. But I told her the truth, my wife, she cook really good too. Yesterday she made something that I was in love, really good. The enchiladas? Yes. Somebody else is asking me a question, I can answer anybody. Ask a question. Any kind of the question you want to ask me. Can I say, uh, anybody said to me, I'm look young. No, I no, not believe everybody. I'm not young. I'm too old. Can I was put on uh, YouTube. World War Two, you know, I, I, I told a lot of story the World War Two. Everybody know, I'm no young. Hey, now somebody else, you want my wine? What do you want to do now? Can you take my wine away from me? Someone said, "Greetings from Greece, Pasquale." They're watching you all the way from Greece. Oh, thank you. Like La, La Grecia, Greece. La Grecia, eh, tutti parlavano, eh, e talk, everybody talk good the Grecia in Italy. In America too, Greece, everybody like Greece going on a, a cruise, everybody. All right, you have another question. Chef, did you ever own your own restaurant? Well, I want to tell you the truth. That time, when I left my house in South Italy, it was 1957, I was 16, 17 years old. And I was a cook. And I, I told already before, I was a squash dish for three years. 
before I started out for the chef. After I was a kind of chef. I come in on this country, uh, you know, was paid too much money when I come in in 1969. I remember, I'll never forget, I was making $50 for a week work in the kitchen. And you know, it was enough of money. Uh, I don't have enough of money to, to, to buy and make a you know, restaurant. But my wife, she pushed me, 19, you know, 1984, 1985, she pushed me to open a restaurant. I, I said, no, I don't want to open a re no restaurant. All right. Do you save the shells from the shrimp for stock? Yes, you can make a stock and you can make a soup of the fish. You use the shell and you cook the shell and you can make a stock. Same thing like when you, you do the, the any kind of the fish you can cook and you make a stock. After you make, a, in Italy we say setaccio, and you grape like this, but over here everybody got a machine, you squeeze everything and you make the gravy and you can make a zuppa de pesh. Got the zuppa de pesh, it's really good. What is your favorite dish from your childhood? When I was a small? Yeah. Well, now I go back and again, the first one what he asked me about polenta. I love polenta. I love polenta. I love escargot, lumache. And I like a lot of pasta fazu. All this time, in the capeluche, the orecchiette, everything. I love the stuff. Hey, another thing, don't forget. I got to sell the nail. All the, rab the rabbit head, lamb head, a goat head. I love the skin, pig skin, all the stuff. I love so much this stuff. Everybody say, oh, it's no good to be here. Today, everybody says it's no good to this, it's no good to that. Today, you don't gotta eat enough. Not you gotta eat. You gotta, you gotta go sleep, get up, go sleep, get up, and no eat. I love everything. The pig, the only thing we was to take, throw away, it's the, uh, you know, you know, uh, the shit. <laughs> but we was eat everything. The the the, the heel, the, the feet, the, the tail. I was eat everything. Now wait, a minute. I gotta put this. Got the pasta. It's already maybe four five minutes. All right. Let me check the pasta first. Oh, it's a real damn. Look at this nice pasta. Look. And the taste, you do like this, you know? It's on them. Good. Now, somebody ask me more questions? How is your garden coming along? The garden? Mm -hmm. Really good. That was a plan. The seeds, the rucla, two kinds of the rucla, both they come out. I was a plan to the parsley, you know, come out yet. The basil, it started to come out to Two leaves already. The garden come out really, really good. Not the past, it's everything okay. Okay, I would like to ask a question too. Did you miss the fresh buffalo mozzarella from Aversa? I'm in the States too, but I'm Italian and I really miss that flavor. The buffalo mozzarella? Yes. The buffalo mozzarella is really, really good. I wanna, every time I go in Italy, we order all the time with the buffalo mozzarella. Um, since so many don't know how to make polenta, would you make it for us? Yeah, it's on the computer already. I did already. It's on the, on the you look. Your channel. And the channel, I make it for The polenta is easy to make. You put water, you boil the water, make sure to put a little oil, it's salt. Little oil, not too much oil, no water. You put a salt. You take the flour with your hands and you turn, turn, turn. When you see, okay, you're not gonna be really thick. 
After the plan, they gotta cook maybe for 45 or one hour. No make it too thick, because after have to boil, 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 it come out a nice polen. And the polen that's nice, you can eat with a, you put it with a spoon in the dish, you put a sauce on the top, everything you want. It's a really good polenta. Ask me about polenta. You can eat the polenta with the beans, at, 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 everything. Voila. Chef, how do you stay in such good shape? Me? Well, this, this you gotta ask my wife. My wife, she, she buy everything for me. The vitamin C, the omega fish, everything. But, let me show you something. This is a, my Oye baby. You see this? Huh? Hey. You see? I'm 74 years old, baby. You see this? You gotta do this every day. I work outside all day long. Somebody said to me, but you crazy, 74 years old to do this kind of job, do concrete, do everything. This house, I was building. Is somebody want to know? I got a license, the state license of a building house. You see, I'm Italian, small Italian, but I got a little, what do you call this? Cervella. The brains. Italian is small, but good. The pasta. Let's see the pasta. No, still it's al dente. Yeah? It's gonna stay three, four more minutes. All right. Let me see this now. Oh, the shrimp looks so beautiful. Someone says, you whistle beautifully. Do you sing too? Ambiance music with you singing while cooking would be amazing. Yes, some Italian tunes? Okay, why is she not, yes. Why is she not? Her name say, is Cammy. Yeah, what kind of a song does she want? Maybe I can whistle, Italian song or something. Yeah, she's asking if you know any Italian songs to sing. Uh, well, that one already it's on the computer and uh, I think. But you want? Okay. Alright. Hey, gombar, che sai suonare, sai suonare, un friscarilla, e come si suona, un friscarilla. O riscarill para ba bunzi bunzi ba e compara che sai suonare sai suonare un saxofono e come si suona un saxofono po 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 un saxofono o riscarill para ba bunzi bunzi ba e compara che sai suonare Sai suonare la trombatella e come si suona la trombatella pa 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 la trombatella po 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 un saxofono o riscarie para va bonzi bonzi pa salute I hope you like se sei americana speak English maybe you like sei italiana Ti piace molto questo, va bene? All right, uh, uh, let's look at the mozzarella over here. It's the shrimp. Oh, oh. it's so beautiful. Mel the mozzarella melts so nice. Beautiful. Okay, let's take this dish out over here. Can you see? When I was working in Torino, I was a cook, but the, the, the the boy, the, the, the little garçon, the little, the, un ragazzo, un guaglione. I was a cook, a guaglione. I have to clean up all the dish. But over here, I gotta clean up everything. Look at this. See, I don't got no help over here. It's okay. 
Va. Vale. Salud. Really good this wine, hey. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey. <laughs> Boy. Okay. As the somebody wants, I'm gonna do something else. I can do something else. You wanna sing something? Go Wait, maybe today, I don't want to say, maybe somebody look at me, maybe today it's a, the birthday to somebody, all right? And we sing happy birthday to somebody. Okay. Hey! It's just, it's just cold. Somebody birthday today, like this. I say happy birthday to somebody with my whistle. Now, when I was in Italy, when I was to go to church, he was a said to me, Hey Pasquale, you know, you whistle good. Why you not come and whistle for the Christmas? I said, all right, I was, I was. Okay, there's another question. My mother was born in Palermo, and every Christmas Eve she made the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Do you do that for your family? Yes. I make a fish salad. In the fish salad, I make, I make it with the shrimp. No, everybody make it different. But everybody eat my fish salad. Everybody like it that way I make. Each fish I cook seven. Each one it's a cook seven. Yeah, one fish in, let's say two minutes, one fish in three minutes, another fish in one hour, one fish in forty minutes, and I cook seven. And I cook scallops, shrimp, calamari, crab meat, clams, mussels, and the polvo. Atmos, it's a polvo, okay? And I make a salad, but never, never, I put like a lot of time, you go by the store over here, you put it inside, well, somebody like it, but I don't like it. You put a, a celery, uh, carrots, this stuff. When I cook a fish, for me, it's a fish, lemon, oil, garlic, salt, and black pepper. It's it. It's my fish salad. The seven fish. Do you listen to any American music? Any yeah. bands? Yes. Uh, say something. What kind of the. Huh? Talk, talk me what. Yes, I like. What bands do you listen to? Well, I like the Beatles. Um, I like um, Tom Jones. What, what song it was a time? It says, somebody told me, huh? I like all oh, Polanka. Oh, Polanka gets the number one for me. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, Diana's. Yeah. Wait, the crazy law, what do you call it? They said, I saw a whistle in the gotta say about the shrimp look how nice the mozzarella the shrimp it look okay now this is the shrimp now we gotta take the pasta I gotta drain the pasta <laughs> Now, what I do with the pasta, a lot of time somebody asks me, why your pasta never stick it together? What I do, look, I put a little, I put a little oil inside, okay? And you give a little thought. So you like oil. If you don't like oil, you can put a little butter. You can use a little butter. And you turn it like this. Look. Look a nice thought. Look. See? Look a nice. Now. It's good. Now we get the dish. shrimp on the top, it's okay. You put right on the top. You want to put on the side, you can use put on the side. But, we do like this. Look. One. Two. A three shrimp. Look how nice it look. Now, if I add the little extra sauce, like I said before, I make a little extra sauce and you know look nice. Okay? I got a lot of shrimp over here. You can put a many you want. Look, you can put over here. Like this. What brand of olive oil do you use? What? What brand of olive oil do you use? 
this is uh, uh, Bertoldi. Did you ever ride a motorcycle as a younger man? Yes, when I was a cook in Torino, in Via Monte de Pietà, what happened, I was a ride the Vespa. I never was a ride the motorcycle. I used the Vespa, I never was used. And what happened, when I was going over there, I was a poor, I don't know what I did. Boom, the motorcycle was going go up, I was going go down, I get hurt. <laughs> you ever take me to the hospital, everything okay. <laughs> everything he was good. But I'll never forget this about the motorcycle. Uh, talk about Torino. When I was working in Torino, I was work at the restaurant. After I finished the restaurant, I would go someplace, get a flower with a bicycle, and nobody believed me. I have something in the back carrier with a bicycle. I have used 10 or 15 bucks. I was look like I have the trail in the back. Everybody was making fun of me over there on the street. In Torino, via Garibaldi, via Roma, I was a pass every via, via San Tommaso, everything. But everything is passing now, everything is good. Okay, now we do another dish. Hey, look at that. Look how beautiful this guy. Okay, now we put like this. And we put one, and two, hey, you come over here, baby. Okay. Okay, now a little sauce on the middle. It's so good, guys. Look at that, look at this. And now, it's the last one. Okay, now the shrimp. See, you don't gotta put too much sauce over here. Okay, you got extra sauce like this. Okay. It's really good. Really, really good. Uh, do you call it sauce or gravy? Well, over here everybody says sauce, gravy, or salsa. In either we say, I'm a fat asalts, asalts if you give them with all. In English over here, I call it sauce. Gravy, you say gravy? Somebody say gravy? For me, gravy, it's no sauce. Tomato sauce, miss sauce, yes, marinara sauce, or pizzaiolo sauce, gravy. It's like when you cook something and you make the gravy. The gravy I make when I say I make the roast beef. The roast beef, I cook the roast beef. At the end, when the roast beef is almost cooked, I take it out and I make the gravy. I use a little flour, white wine, is you gotta stack the chicken stock you can use this it's a gravy but I don't call it gravy the sauce I make it's a meat sauce tomato sauce uh, pizza sauce all this marinara sauce okay now this it's a regular sauce what I was make what I was use garlic onion a oil. I fry first the garlic onion and after I put my tomato sauce inside. And I leave it, I was a little cook only for 15 minutes this sauce. And this sauce, when I'm making it sometime, it cook for four or five hours. The sauce it's cooked. You can eat this sauce 
like this. You don't gotta cook. So you want, you put a, you cook the pasta, you take the jar, and see this is the jar I use. That's what it come out of the sauce, for this kind of the jar. You can take it out and you put right up in the pasta. It's no problem. It's no you gotta scare say all oh, the sauce you gotta cook. No, this sauce it's cooked already four hours for me. I cook only for 20 minutes. But you buy the store, you gotta cook here yeah, all day long, maybe 10, 15 a half. It's still when you cook the sauce of the, so the, the store, still it's got the ajan. I said. And you get a lot of people put sugar inside, it's still it's over there, it never come out. But this, it's all plum tomato. Plum tomato, I cook, I pass with the machine, and I cook more for four hours, five hours. When it comes nice and thick, I put on a jar. I seal the jar. I put in a box, and I cover with a, with a blank, everything. After four, five days, you take it out, this jar, still you can touch, it's really hot. For four, five days, still it boil inside the jar. Okay, somebody else? West Coast Buddy says, I had nice dinner yesterday, made parpadel with raw tomato sauce served with smoked trout. So great combination. Parpadel? And thank you, West Coast Buddy. Oh yeah? Because they said something nice about me. Yeah, parpadel. It's so good. I make pappardelle by hand. I don't buy the store. When I make pappardelle, I make I make fettuccine, pappardelle, ravioli, cannoli, everything by hand. The pappardelle, it's really good. In Italy, in Torino, we was make pappardelle with a lepre, la lepre, il coniglio selvaggio, selvatico, what do you call the... It's a wild uh, rabbit. We was make it with a wild rabbit. Or with the stambecco. Stambecco, it's the cervo. The cervo you call it in English? The, the... the horns? No, what do you call it? Antlers? Huh? Antlers? No, the cervo. The, the, the... Deer? Deer, oh. yeah. We was make the deer. Yeah, the deer with the pappardelle. No, but... But when you do the deer or you do the wild the rabbit, what we was to do, we cut it by piece and you chop garlic and onion and you put red wine, they gotta be dry wine, and you put it for four days on the bigger pots and you will stay in the refrigerator. After you take it out, you drain the wine, everything, and you fry after you cook. And this, it's so good with the polenta. Come on again, you like the polenta. The polenta is so good with the cervo, rabbits, everything. G. Sarho says, it was a wonderful thing when you prepared food for the local middle school after Hurricane Sandy. I'm a native of Seabright and I know the devastation it caused. Yes, I was only cook for over there. I was bringing more food for somebody else too. And I was a cook for the Rano Mildano house on Beth Avenue. And I was doing two time already over there. And so people liked so much to me about this. I was glad that the cook, you see, I was working for 30 years. Well, working for 30 years, or not working for 30 years. If somebody want to do something, you can do everything. You see, a lot of people, you know, do not, but I was, do, I was, a lot of people, he was over there at the middle of school. And he, and he was from Seabright. Seabright, yes. I, I, thank you, you know, okay, you asked this question. And I was, a, 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 another thing, I was go on the mom of the park. I, I asked over there, so I want to cook and bring over there. And the the gardener of the police, he said to me, no, you can't. But I was the one to cook and bring over there. But he stopped me. He said, no, you got the caterer over there, the cook. Ain't no one of me to go over there. But I was going to go over there to bring the stuff. And he stopped me to bring over there. 
Well, we hope your family is okay in Seabright and that nothing bad happened. Um, there's another question. Do you make risotto much? Risotto? Do you make it a lot or not? Yes. We make a lot of risotto. I can make a risotto with the, the marrow, the mm -hmm. bone, bone marrow, uh, risotto alla milanese, risotto alla piemontese, you can make a risotto with mushroom, the risotto with beans, a lot of risotto you can make. I was going to make a lot of risotto. Okay? Now, Thank you again. I'm so sorry what happened for the delay, delay for the what happened with this. I don't know, maybe somebody not like me. It's why this happened all the time. Okay, something happened with the computer, I don't know. Maybe somebody say, Pasquale, you know, my last name is uh, what? Shut up. But I don't want to say the people to shut up, but it's my last name, shut up. Okay, everybody make a fun of me. They shut up. But I never shut up, I talk all the time. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody look at me. I hope somebody send some good comment about me, what I do. If somebody ask, she want me to cook something, you ask me. I can cook everything you want. Maybe one this day I want to make the pig feet cook. I love the pig feet. But before I cook, I gotta wash the, 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 the finger, the, the feet, the nail, with a brush, with the toothpaste. Toothpaste, you know, even washing good. Really good. Everything you can. <laughs> this is a funny thing, okay? All right. Okay? Thank you very much to everybody that listened to me, all this, what happened over here today. And I told you the truth. The chicken, the, the, not the chicken, the shrimp, parmigiana, is really good. Okay? And now I want to start to eat. But before I go, let me taste them. Now, somebody asked me another thing. Let me take. Say why I never can work the, the fork with a spoon. It's easy. You take the, 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 the pasta and you like this. Look at it. It goes so easy, the colony. So you want you can eat it right in a spoon or you got the big mouth and Easy. It's so good. Okay. This is over now. Thank you very much. I hope everybody was like tonight. I'm a little funny. Okay, now it's time. Okay, now another thing on Friday, maybe we do it again live. Friday night at 7 p.m. we do it again. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.